Find those bumps, Grady. I'm concocting a fresh batch of Dr. Doxy's Miracle Tonic. Sorry, Doc. And so I, Dr. Samuel Doxy, am making available to you the results of 30 years of painstaking research. A Dr. Doxy's miracle tonic guaranteed to restore youthful gusto strength and vigor. I don't believe it. Nothing can help me. Oh, my aching back. Observe closely, good people of Green Valley. This sorry specimen will prove my claims. I hear my miserable friend. Note the stalling transformation. Why, the man looks 20 years younger. Yippee! I've never felt better in my life, thanks to you, Dr. Doxy. And you, ladies and gentlemen, can feel the same way for just 25 cents a bottle. I'll take it to you for 20 to a large family. Oh, what a day. I sold every bottle. Those nitwits, I mean those good people of Green Valley, really fell for it. Thanks to my performance, eh, Doc? Ah, yes, for which you are well compensated, my good man. Besides, a fine product sells itself. But, Doc, mine was only a lemonade. Come on, dear, take your tonic. Mm? Now, don't you feel better? Yeah! Oh, your vigor's really been restored. That ain't vigor, it's anger. Give me that. This stuff is awful. I'll show that quack, Doctor. Oh, we mustn't tarry, Scraggy. Other towns are badly in need of my miracle tonic. I want my money back, ya phony! Yeah, this stuff can ruin your hell. It's awful. Take that, you got it. Well, I thought there were no return bottles. Alas, gratitude is such a rare virtue nowadays. I'm warning you, Scraggy. Watch those bumps. My tonic doesn't take kindly to shaking. I see. Gunshots, Jolly. Sounds like trouble. Next thing, you want to take a look-see. Better take a look-see, Jolly. Yeah! What did I tell you? Ah, Scraggy, stop this wagon. OK, Doc. No! We've stopped, Doc. Oh, yes, we really stopped. Maybe for good. Come on, boy. Pull! Trouble, partner. Uh, you might call it that, stranger. Oh, name's Lucky Lou. A Dr. Samuel Doxy, benefactor of mankind. But alas, I'm badly in need of a benefactor myself. Easy, Doc. I know just the remedy. Ten to one, that remedy's named Jolly. Jolly here will pull your wagon out. Told you so. I hope that doctor has something for a sore back. <laughs> Howdy. I'm here to supply some extra horsepower. Yeah! That's it, Jelly. You're almost out. I beg to differ. We are out. And you, my good man, are out one horse. Uh, my heartfelt gratitude for your generous contribution. Oh, God. There goes good old Jolly. I've been had. That Dr. Doxy's a disgrace to the medical profession. I hope they got to rent a horse in Green Valley. <sighs> Times like these, I wonder why they call me lucky. <clears throat> what, 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 what? Oh, look, it's my old friend Lucky Luke out taking a stroll. Bark, bark! I'm so glad to see him, I'll jump in his arms. Bark, bark, bark! <clears throat> I keep forgetting the arms are in front. Just what I need. I have not only lost Jolly, but now I have that wandering guard dog Bushwhack on my back. As Bushwhack and I ambled into Green Valley, the place looked like a ghost town. Looks like a ghost town, Bushwhack. Ghost town or not, I need a horse to catch up to that crook, Dr. Doxy. Dr. Doxy! Freeze! Why, you ain't Dr. Doxy. Nope, name's Lucky Luke, and you're... Green? I'm right, I'm green, thanks to that quack Dr. Doxy's tonic. All Green Valley's green. 
Yep, so I see. Gee, what a colorful town. Fact is, I'm after the bad good doctor myself. He vamoosed with my horse. Reckon I got a horse to rent. Thank you kindly. It's a green. Mm, got any other colors? Never did fancy green. Sorry, I used some of Doxy's tonic on him, but it's wearing off. Reckon I'll get used to it. So long. If you find Doxy, give him a message from us. Happy to. What is it? There! I got the message. It was a cinch of trailing Doc Doxy from town to town. Reckon we're getting closer. The town folk are getting greener. Sure enough, in the little town of Mesquite Junction, I heard a familiar voice. Oh, yes, ladies and gents, it's my privilege to share with you the greatest scientific discovery of the century. A Dr. Doxy's miracle tonic. Can I have a volunteer? I right, step right up. Not me. I'm healthy as a horse. It's claims like that give us horses a bad name. <laughs> Let me through, whippersnappers. I'll try the stuff. Tried everything else, and nothing's worked. Oh, fear not. Your salvation is right in this bottle. Oh, thank you, kind, sweet, gentle sir. Don't ham it up, Scraggy. Just drink the lemonade. <laughs> oh, my! Whee! It works. I feel I could walk on air. What strength, what vigor. I feel like a little girl again. Yahoo! <laughs> Amazing! Incredible! Fantastic! Woohoo! Woo! Oh, no! no. Hey, yo! <laughs> <laughs> Reckon Doc Doxy is gonna get a taste of his own medicine. Something funny's going on. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey! She ain't no lady! It was all a man! Let's get him! Oh, I see these pigeons are reluctant to accept my medical mode. Head for the wagon, Doc! And that quack Doxy has learned his lesson and ducked out of here for good. About time Luke rescued me. I thought I'd be pulling that wagon this whole story. <laughs> I should have known that a varmint as crooked as Doc Doxy could never go straight. Why are we stopping here, Doc? Oh, I need water to mix up my newest gift to an ailing mankind. And right now, the people of Nugget Valley are waiting for our aid. Nugget Valley? Uh, don't you remember? We can't go back there. Sheriff Hardtack threw us out last year. Oh, then they need us more than ever. I'll brave any danger to bring those poor rich folks my America tonic. Yuck! Doc, watch what you're doing. That stuff looks like it's gonna explode. Most observant of you, Scraggy. Uh, step lively. But, Doc, that blast will bring Sheriff Hardtacker running. I certainly hope so. Look, sounded like an explosion. I better take a look-see. Dr. Doxy, I might have known. I warned you away from here last year, and now I'm taking you in. From where I sit, it seems you've been taken in. Huh? Quick. This constitutes taking the law in your own hands. Your plan worked like a charm, Doc. As I ambled in the Nugget Valley to visit my old friend, Sheriff Hardtack, little did I know he'd been missing for two whole days. Anybody to home? You're wasting your time, stranger. Sheriff's been gone two whole days. I'm very worried. Really, ma'am? I'm Lucky Luke. Why is that little dog wearing a fur coat on such a hot day? I think I'll follow. All gather round one and all, good people of Nugget Valley. Can money buy happiness, ladies and gentlemen? The answer is yes. Dr. Doxy's miracle tonic will make you feel like a million for just five bucks a bottle, or buy two for twelve dollars. And I thought I'd heard the last of that spiel. Well, I'll be. 
if it isn't that phony doctor again. If Sheriff Hartack was here, Doc, he'd be run out of town. Hmm, I got a hunch that quack's appearance had something to do with my friend's disappearance. Hmm. Now, where'd that fuzzy little dog go? I'll take three dozen. Give me a crate. Ah, uh, don't be impatient. Uh, you'll all get your bottles of my famous tonic. Ah, oh, yes, my friends. You are making a valuable purchase when you buy Dr. Doxy's potent pick-me-up. Oh, God! Golly, the doc needs to pick him up. Say, ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, 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 this stuff's awful, you fool. We don't drink this, we just sell it. But, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, you see how fast it picked me up? And it can do the same for you. Uh, folks, come back. Ah, I see there's at least one person in this town searching for the secret of good health and vigor. Nope, I'm searching for Sheriff Hardtack. Darn shame he disappeared with all that gold I give him to bring to town. Gold? Ah, oh, your story touches my heart, old timer. Take this bottle with my compliments. Giddy up! Gosh, I lost that dog with the fur coat, and now I can't find my friend Lucky Luke. Here, Jolly, my trusty steed. Now I'm really confused. I hear Lucky Luke, but I don't see him. Come on, Bushwhack. We got some riding to do. I reckon if Doxy knew where the sheriff was, my phony disguising story would make that varmint lead me to him. I reckon that varmint's leading me to him. Now I know who he is. Lucky Luke's puppy. Come on, Sheriff. Where's that gold you're carrying? What are you talking about, you coyotes or loco? You can't call me loco. But you can call me Lucky. Lucky Luke. Luke, what are you doing way up here? Corralling a couple of polecats. Where? We dogs chase cats. Keep a sharp eye on these sidewinders, Sheriff. They ain't going nowhere, Luke. Thanks for everything. Worth nothing. So long, Sheriff. Ah, oh, how ungrateful can people be, jailing a benefactor of mankind such as I. Such as I, too, Doc. Shut up, Stray. Oh, Sheriff, I'm parched and demand something to quench my thirst. Sure, Quack. <laughs> how about a taste of your own tonic? Ouch! Oh, just what I hoped he'd do. Doc, you're going to drink that stuff? Now, be ridiculous, my boy. This tonic's our ticket out of these dismal surroundings. <laughs> this miracle tonic works wonders. <laughs> Follow me to freedom. Golly, just as free as birds. Which way we're headed, Doc? Uh, not we, Scraggy. Ah, lass, it's time for us to part company. Good luck, my boy. I've taught you all that I can. Gosh, Doc, I don't know what to say. Just say goodbye before I get misty-eyed myself. Oh, lass, there's one lesson he failed to learn. Never trust nobody. Escape prisoner, I sound the alarm. Oh, that double-crossing duck! Out in the name of the law! Oh, that'll keep the sheriff occupied while I make good my escape. Oh, yes, I'm so delightfully devious. <laughs> After the dirty dealing Dr. Doxy's devious departure, I was hot on his trail, and that trail was mighty hot. We're hot on his trail, Jolly. Hmm, here's Doxy's canteen. Not a drop in it. <laughs> I'm ready to drop myself. That varmint must be famished. He chowed down on this cactus. <laughs> Gee, it's hot. Almost enough to make a faithful dog unfaithful. What's this? A man must be desperate. He's drinking his own remedy. The desperate Doxy's trail led to the lonesome town of Coyoteville, and that's where he went cold. Out of my way, Nag whilst I parch my thirst. <laughs> oh, much better. And now for a tonsorial transformation from my hirsute appendage. Without my beard and mustache, no one will recognize the famous Dr. Doxy. Fine weather we're having, isn't it, sir? Uh, let's have less talking and more shaving. 
You drink up, Jolly, while I ask around about Doxy. Make you look 20 years younger, sir. Howdy, partners. Uh-oh. I'm looking for a dangerous hombre named Doxy. Either of you gents seen him? I never forget a face, and that's one I've never run across. Good heavens, I, I did see that scoundrel headed out of town an hour ago. Much obliged, partner. I'm delighted to help. Come on, Jolly. You too, Bushwhack. I've picked up the trail. Another leap on my back like that, and I'll need some of Doxy's pick-me-up. <laughs> ah, so much for that bit. That'll be two bits for the shave, sir. I put it on my bill, son. Name's Dr. Oxide. But, 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 but... Oh, with that lucky look on a wild goose chase, I can get back in business. But how? Lemonade! Get your lemonade! Penny a glass, nice cool lemonade. Oh, yes, that's how I take over an existing business. Want a lemonade, mister? Nope, I'll take everything. Wow, let's see. That means you owe me 50 cents. I put it on my bill. His bill? Hey, that's stealing, the big crook. And now, good people of Coyoteville, here's your chance to put some spring in your step with Dr. Oxide's sunshine syrup. What about my bill, sir? Oh, yes, uh, Dr. Oxide doesn't forget a debt. Uh, you, sir, get a discount. That'll be 25 cents. Oh, uh, well... This stuff tastes just like lemonade. Very perceptive, my good man. Specially flavored to make it more palatable. I'll take one. Give me two. Here's my money. Oh, you won't regret it. This stuff's good for what ails you, lumbago hangnail. <laughs> Even a headache. Fifty dollars, not bad for an honest day's work. And now, to expand the business. Uh, the problem with this town is it's too healthy. Uh, but I'll remedy that soon enough. Failing to catch that varmint doxy, Jolly Bushwhack and I return to Coyoteville to catch some shut-eye. Catch some shut-eye, Jolly. We start searching again at sunrise. Sunrise? What an uncivilized hour. Maybe it'll rain. Reckon you'll have to sleep out here, Bushwhack. No dogs is allowed in the hotel. I can't sell a cure without something to cure. So I'll create a little epidemic of my own. Uh, shh, my bovine friend, this won't hurt a bit. Oh, now those are horses of a different color. <laughs> Lucky Luke can sleep soundly because we guard dogs can stay awake for a long... Ooh, long ooh, time. One last victim of the coyote film measle epidemic. <laughs> Rise and shine, Bushwhack. Time to hit the trail. I'm rised and shining. Morning, ma'am. Ah! Ah! Huh? Oh! That dog! I know you ain't much to look at, Bushwhack, but... <gasps> Good grief! Bushwhack, you got measles. I don't know what those are, but I'm sure they're nice. Measles? That mutt's been on my back for days. I better not get him. <laughs> oh, no, Jolly. You, too. I refuse to be seen in public looking like this. It's an epidemic! Look at my cow! Look at my rooster! My pig! My gosh! Oh, do not despair, good people of Coyoteville. Lucky for you, I, Dr. Oxide, have perfected a magical measle potion. A rooster. Observe closely. Abracadabra. Presto. Extra It worked! My rooster's <laughs> cured! Would Dr. Oxide lie? And I'll also cure horses, pigs, cows, and dogs. Only $10 a head. Here's my 10, and well worth it. Thanks, Doc. One moment while I prepare more tonic. Don't usually set much store by these quick cure artists, but the Code of the West says I've got to take care of my friends. This is so embarrassing. I've had spots in front of my eyes, but this is too much. 
that nasty man never gave me my 50 cents. Well, I'll give him something. Now he'll have to have his wagon clean. A satisfaction guaranteed. How much to cure one horse and a dog? I'm going to give you a break, sonny. I'll only charge you $15 for the two. That's right nice of you, doctor. Doxy, I might have known. Oh, oh, uh, sorry, folks, I must be going. This ain't measles, this here's paint. That phony doctor sold us lamp water for 10 bucks a piece. We've been swindled. Don't you worry, folks. That varmint Doxy won't get away this time. I'll teach that cowpoke he can't fight me with a man of science. This mix will mix him up. This will cure what's tailing me. <laughs> oh, I've seen the last of that meddling lucky loop. I wouldn't say that. But uh, how did you get out of that tunnel? Never went in. Now, I'm taking you back to jail, Doxy. But first, clean that red paint off in your face. Ah, uh, paint? That's not paint. I've really got the measles. And so, the infamous Dr. Doxy wound up in the Coyoteville jail. Ah, uh, where did I go wrong? But as long as there are gullible customers to be found, you can always find a charlatan. And if you try Dr. Scraggy's fantastic formula, you won't regret it. One, please. Uh, do you deliver? For you, Doc, anything. Have some free samples. Uh, uh, how that ungrateful whelp taught him everything he knows and me. A sick man, too. I'm a poor, lonesome cowboy, a long way from home. Nothing will keep me from following my friends. Well, almost nothing. I'm a poor, lonesome cowboy. I'm a long, long way from home. And this poor, lonesome cowboy has got a long 